Welcome everyone. Today, we're learning about the bacterium Yersinia enterocolitica. Now, when we break up these words, we get firstly Yersinia, which comes from the name of the scientists who identify the bacterium. And entero refers to intestines. This bacterium is hence naturally found in our intestines and in other liquid mediums such as contaminated water, not forgetting contaminated milk. Interestingly, this bacterium can also be found in my undercooked meat like pork, chicken, as well as beef. Some physical characteristics of this bacterium is that it is a gram-negative bacterium. And looking from the shape, it is rod-shaped, also called as bacillus. And when we look at its catalase activity, it's catalase positive, oxidase negative. And at room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, this bacterium is happily motile. And when we increase the temperature to slightly higher and we make it to 37 degrees Celsius, this bacterium becomes sadly immortal. If we now reduce the temperature to about 4 degrees Celsius, the bacteria happily thrives in the presence of oxygen as well as without oxygen because it's facultative. And as for its pH requirement, it thrives best between a pH of 4 to 10. And at a pH less than 4, its growth decreases. And when the pH becomes too alkaline, more than 10, it will possibly die. Now, let's take a look at the vital elements of this flowchart that helps us identify the bacterium. Citrate utilization is one such biochemical test apart from all the other tests and Yersinia is unable to utilize citrate. However, it is able to ferment mannitol. And the last step to identifying the genus of Yersinia will be that it is not able to produce hydrogen sulfide. To finalize the species Yersinia enterocolitica, we look at its ability to decarboxylase ornithine. Or we can also identify the homologous sequences of the bacterium's DNA. Isolation of this organism can be done using Yersinia selective base and Yersinia selective supplement. This medium is made up of firstly, special peptone, yeast extract, magnesium sulfate, mannitol which selects for salt tolerant mannitol utilizing organism, sodium dixoxicolate which selects for bile tolerant organism, and the indicator neutral rate. It also contains novobiosin which is an antibiotic that the organism is resistant to. Animals can become infected by this bacterium. However, they recover quickly and become carriers of these pathogenic strains. But when humans feed on these food, they will also become infected by this bacterium. As a result, we suffer from diseases like gastroenteritis that leads to diarrhea and abdominal pain. This infection can be prevented by firstly maintaining hygiene, by washing our hands with antiseptic soap, consuming pasteurized milk, by cooking our meat thoroughly, and lastly, to prevent cross-contamination of meat and vegetables. So remember to stay free of your senior enterocolitica. Thank you!